Hello! I bought this drill today and I noticed that there were no reviews or anything online. At least I couldn't find any, so I figured what the heck. I'll do a review, so that's what I'm going to do. This is a Black & Decker 3-amp um, drill, 3 8 of an inch, and I learned that it's a single speed. Um, I'd had my trusty hand-me-down Black & Decker drill from the 1960s, a um, U100. You can still find working models of these things on eBay and such. And the cord finally gave out, even though I'd wrapped it a couple of times. Um, it probably could still work and I could get it fixed, but I needed this. I needed it to do a job today, so I got this. Kind of an interesting comparison, um, you know, 50 some years apart or whatever. Um, interesting tool. But um, when I looked online at Lowe's, one thing I noticed, I, I um, downloaded a PDF they had of an instruction manual. I printed it out here. You probably won't be able to see this on the video, but it's the same catalog number, BDEDR3C, and it calls it a variable speed drill. Um, it even shows inside the document, it labels the trigger as a variable speed trigger. It talks about depressing it, uh, you know, a little bit for less RPMs or whatever. Well, I know that the product description said it was a single speed, but I know that sometimes people key in, in those product descriptions might miss something, so I thought, oh, you know, here's a great deal. It's a variable speed. That's kind of icing on the cake. But when I went and picked up the box after ordering it online, I saw that it is a single speed drill, and in the instruction manual that came in the box, it says it's a single speed drill. Tried it out. It is a single speed drill. Um, I was a little disappointed at that, but not enough to go trouncing through the store and compare it to other models. And it was such a good deal at 20 bucks. The next step up was like a 5 amp Black & Decker for 30 bucks that I believe did have variable speed. I also looked at the Matrix model where you can like take the drill part off and put on attachments like a, a circular saw and sander and different things. That was interesting and maybe like 35 bucks or something like that. But I just wanted something simple. I'm a very occasional handyman drill user, so this fit my needs. Uh, pretty cool looking. Looks like something out of Terminator or, or The Matrix, which appeals to me on some level. I like the new Black & Decker logo that's on a little crooked and put on with a sticker, whatever. Um, but it's a simple thing. Um, it's got this belt clip up here, which I guess is kind of handy, although it looks a little bit odd when I put it on my belt. I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Um, seems to work. It's got, you know, the old one I had to always use a key chuck to get it to tighten. Never did mind that, but I was always afraid of losing the chuck. The new drills, of course, you don't have to do that if you've ever dealt with one of these before. Um, I've got this little uh, wedge thing to carve a hole in the wood here, in a piece of wood. You just tighten it up by hand, um, two hands, and uh, Secures, secures the uh, the drill bit. It does have a, um, a trigger lock. Just, just press it again to get it to take the trigger lock off. The old one had a trigger lock too, interestingly. Um, this one though has something the old one didn't have. You can go forward or reverse. I think this spins at like 2700 RPM, so it's a a small beast in my opinion. I mean it's three amps. I didn't even know what the rating on this old one was until I looked at it. It's one and a half amps. Um, so it's a step up for me and this thing's a little wind machine too. It really puts out a, a good breeze. Got like a six foot cord on it and I'm gonna expect this thing to last 50 years just like the other one did hopefully. But a uh, pretty simple thing. Not, uh, I don't really have a heck of a lot more to say about it. Hopefully it will hold up. I trust it too. And that's it. Black & Decker 3-amp corded drill. Hope it was helpful to you somehow.